How's it going guys? Crypto Bud here for today. Today's session is going to be a little market update for just a little bit about what's going on in the market. I'm going to go ahead and talk about some of my coins, some of my bellwethers, and talk about some charts. And hopefully you guys can learn a little bit of technical analysis as I'm going through it. And hopefully um, you can avoid some of the market uh, blood that's been running in the streets. All right, let's take a look at the market real quick and see what's going on. So I woke up today and I'm looking at it and it looks like we've got another down day. It looks like this market cannot figure out where it's at. And it looks like this uh, August 1st situation is going to create a lot of problems in terms of figuring out what to do in the next couple of weeks because it's up, down, up, down. It's really choppy right now. So with that said, let's take a look at Bitcoin. Bitcoin's down only 6%. It's holding up fairly nicely considering that the other coins have double digit declines. And if we take a look at our top five, it looks like Ethereum is taking a huge beating. Um, I, I don't know what to say with Ethereum. I think the overhyping, everything going up with Ethereum has finally taken its toll. And um, I'm going to have to call Ethereum right now kind of a lost cause, at least in the short term. Um, but it's definitely taking a huge beating. I'll talk about Ethereum in a bit. Going down the top five, um, as we go down lower, I think we're definitely in a bear market for some of these other coins. And what I mean by bear markets, we're talking about double digit declines that really, um, I hate to say it guys, but chops, chops these guys underneath their legs, on their legs, and then they can't even stand up. Like for example, IOTA, we got 32% decline. We've got Stratus at 28, 24 for waves, which was a lot of people requested we need to cover waves and whatnot. So if you're into these coins, I mean, you're facing double digit for Golem, Sia coin, et cetera, et cetera. These altcoins are just taking a huge beating. Digibyte is just ridiculously getting beat. The big question you want to ask right now is, is this a great time to buy? Should you be buying? Should you be adding to a portfolio? And one thing I was mentioning on my Twitter account the other day was, you know, I still hold fiat currencies in regards to my overall portfolio because a couple of days ago, I was kind of talking about that we're really now facing, we're entering into what I call a corrective mode. And I have a feeling that if this continues, then we're going to start entering into a bear market. And so, unfortunately, you know, if we got in just recently, we're going to be having to hold down until this thing goes down to, you know, minus 30, 40%. But these altcoins are just taking a huge beating, specifically like some of my favorites here, like Lisk, um, you know, uh, Pivx, you know, uh, Digibyte, you know, some of those are just getting hammered. So anyway, with that said, we need to figure out where we stand in terms of the old market. So one thing we got to understand right now is that is the trend up or down. And from my observations right now, it looks like it's down. So we're going to have to kind of play it that way. Uh, last couple of weeks, I was talking about selling all rallies. And so I think that still holds true. The easy money, unfortunately, is already gone. So now we need to figure out how we're going to um, survive this grind and not get priced out. All right, let's take a look at a couple of charts real quick and hopefully I'll give you a little more perspective. Okay, I'm gonna put my picture right here so you guys can see. <laughs> All right, so the first thing you wanna take a look at is um, on this chart, I actually have, I'm gonna have three coins that I want you guys to take a look at real carefully, okay? All right, so the first one, and unfortunately my face is not gonna do well here in this type of color, but it's okay, you guys don't need to see my face. Um, it's going to be Bitcoin. Okay, so Bitcoin is is one of those coins as a bellwether, like I was explaining in the other videos. If Bitcoin goes down, it's going to take everything to go, you know, goes down with it. So, uh, you know, it doesn't really matter if you believe it or not, or you think it's a it's it's a it's a crap coin or whatnot. Bitcoin is the one that everybody looks at, and one of the things I look for is specifically when we're looking at this is number one is what is the general trend. The general trend here starting on March was up. So if you were buying here, you were doing very well with Bitcoin. Everybody was making money. You seem to look like a genius. And pretty much everything was the way it was supposed to. You know, you bought and it went up the next day. Any pullbacks and it was met with a little bit of selling, but nothing really spectacular. In fact, here, all you had to do was just buy it and then just let it run. That lasted from March late March all the way out to June. So a very nice run. In fact, it was actually almost a three month run. Now with that said, Bitcoin has now reached, I think, uh, a level of exhaustion. So regardless of what's happening in the future, the price fundamentals indicate that we're now kind of getting a little pause. And so what I'm looking here right now is this consolidation trend. So this trend really indicates this, that after June the 12th till now, we've been basically in this really, really 
tight, narrow band. Now, again, when you're looking at these boxes, these these compressions, price compressions, you're looking for a break on the upside or the downside to reestablish a trend. So right now, as it stands, Bitcoin does not have a trend because I believe that after that peak on June the 11th up to the 12th, that's where this ended. So according to my technicals, it looks like Bitcoin is now either going to resume that trend or it's going to continue a downward trend. But right now, currently, it's consolidating, trying to figure out where that's at. And my best bet on this is going to be August 1st. So from here till August 1st, expect Bitcoin to trade sideways. Now, the other thing I'm also noticing is that um, we are actually looking at the MACD line here that is also trending lower. So there's no buy signal. So if you want to grind this out and you want to start buying here, selling here, buying sale here, you can technically do that till August 1st. I personally don't like it just because the commissions and all the trouble of having to try to fit, uh, find points or whatnot. What I am concerned about, however, is what's going to happen if Bitcoin drops and for some reason there's a sell off. Let's take a look at the Fibonacci numbers. And the Fibonacci numbers um, are basically these support and resistance zones where every trader looks at it. It's almost kind of like a self-fulfilling prophecy. And what happens is when you look at these things, people tend to kind of say, oh, you know what? I'm going to look at this level. I'm going to look at this level. So eventually if something happens. It's going to happen. Now, what happens is let's take a look at Fibonacci. The three numbers you should watch out for are going to be 38 percent. 50% and 61.8%. So these are the three main ones. The other two, I think they're outliers. And although you can still take a look at them, they're, they're really not that important in the grander scheme of things, especially if people are not looking at them. So the first line, which is the 0 0.382, that's going to be where first support is. Right now, it's still finding support around 2,300. And that was kind of established from this congestion that we had here. So as long as this holds true, I think we should be able to bounce back up to the top end of that range, which kind of looks around 2600, between 26, 2800 around this line. So we're going to be trying to chopping around this side. Now, any price points here at this point, you know, you can make a case that it's going to blow out after August 1st. It may or may not do that. But the bottom line I'm trying to say is that 0.38% looks like a buying support area where you can expect it to at least stabilize. With that said, this is really not a great opportunity to pick some up because you're not really getting a lot of risk, a lot of reward for for the risk you're taking. We're not an established uptrend line. Um, it is not a downtrend, so you can't short it. And the other thing is that we still have that pending August 1st unknown news. So in terms of Bitcoin, I would say hold it if you hold a large position in it. And if you're really kind of afraid of what's going to happen August 1st, go to Fiat. But as far as any gains here, it doesn't look like it's going to do anything in the short term maybe in the long term from now a year or two maybe it's definitely going to go higher so anyway that's bitcoin all right the next one is going to be ethereum and let me talk about ethereum real quick so ethereum is very similar to bitcoin's chart the only difference with ethereum is that um so we had this march 13th run actually started up in february which was a great run by the way and you can see there was a lot of compression here a lot of price compression and then all of a sudden we got this nice blowout so Elliott 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, and now we're in Elliott 1 um, wave. And if we take a look at the Fibonacci again, we're going to be looking at these three levels, 38%, 50%, and 61%. The first thing is that it looks like e, uh, ETH is sitting at 214. It blew right through it just a couple of minutes ago. Um, what I don't like about this one is that the volume is really low. So even on the upside and the downside, actually the upside's a little higher. So if right now it's definitely on a downtrend if you want to buy you can buy but it's not something that you're going to be holding for a while then you might as well just park your money somewhere else and wait for a more better correction something like what we saw right here a, a consolidation so do i think ethereum is going to go lower in the short term probably just by looking at the technicals it blew to 214 so the next number is 166. now that number is huge guys 166 from 214 i mean that's almost like a 20 percent drop and you know that's that's a lot of money to be lost so my take on it is that until ethereum changes its trend line which right now is currently down expect to see 214 not hold which it didn't and then 166 to be the next one i think if it goes past 166 somewhere between 100 and 166 i think that's going to be an awesome buying opportunity i think 166 is probably a very good entry point so unfortunately ethereum I would have to give it up to you in terms of what you're going to do. I mean, it'll be nice if it goes back to 420, but I understand right now is you have to respect the trend. 
Okay, the other thing I want to mention is that the volume, again, was, was kind of up on the green days, but it's not enough to, to have some sideways action. And also, we're not getting any confirmation from the moving averages in terms of the MACD lines. So what ends up happening is that we have to wait until this thing gives us a confirmation. So ideally, a bounce at the 214 holding. I know right now it's at 202. It's probably not going to make it 214. So we're probably going to go 166 at this point for a 20% loss. Okay, the next one is going to be Litecoin. Okay, and Litecoin, um, I mentioned this in my other video. However, Litecoin, taking a look at the technicals, is a little stronger in the traditional sense. And looking at the Fibonacci at $45, it looks like Litecoin is going to hold. Now, in this case, um, do you want to buy or sell? I think definitely it's a lot of the strong, one of the stronger coins. I would like to only buy it at $37 and $25, just because that's the 38% Fibonacci, these three right here. That, point 20, that $25, I don't think it's going to hold. I think the market's going to take it, take take it with it, take take Litecoin with it, and it's probably going to take a pay, a piece of 37, which probably looks at about what uh, a little bit over a 15, maybe a little bit over a 10 percent, 15 percent loss on that one. So what you're going to do is that you're going to have to kind of hold on until this thing kind of drops. Now in terms of the uptrend line, we're still looking good. So even if it drops down to let's say 38, 37, we may be a little bit bucking that uptrend. But definitely these three numbers are, are going to be important, the 37, the 30, and the 24. If the market does recover, I think we're going to have a lot more bounce on Litecoin. It'll probably go to 60 at that point. Now, taking a look at the actual price pattern for Litecoin, one of the stronger coins. It's already had two down days. Here, it's already had three. Usually by like the third day, we get some sort of run. So if you're sitting on Litecoin right now, you may want to just hold off. Now, is it going to go to 37? I don't know. I mean, personally, is it going to blow through 45? It already, it's already blowing through 45, which most likely means we'll be somewhere around the 40 range in the next couple of uh, days in the low 40s. So with that said, just keep that in mind. But again, understand that once you already have two down days, you, this year you had three down, day, three down days, three down days, three down days, three down days, it seems like the market tends to recover back. So selling right now would be a little bit premature. Okay, um, in terms of the MACD line, it looks a little healthier, but we're starting to see some crossover here with that orange line. And so that's not what I want to see. So I'll have to trade it very carefully with Litecoin and trying to figure out where the exit plan is. Once we get that bounce, we may be able to hit 50 bucks. And then at that point, we can start scaling out of that position and then maybe moving into something else. All right, guys. So in terms of the three coins, just to recap, looks like um, Litecoin is still in an uptrend line, which is definitely a value play in terms of momentum. So that's something I would look at. Bitcoin's consolidating. Ethereum's on a downtrend. So if you put your money where you think it's going to be, make sure you take that into consideration. When you're playing markets that are going down, it's very different from buying and holding on the way up. So if you want to buy and hold, you can, but understand that you're going to go down with that coin 40, 50, 60 percent until something materializes. And there's no guarantee that's going to do it. All right, guys, that's CryptoBud here for the market update. I hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe and like. Thank you.